this video is about the way memory persists when it's allocated off the heap and the way it doesn't persist when it's allocated off the stack. So you may not know what I mean by heap uh, versus stack. Um, so I don't know if, if I can explain it well or even if I should try, but um, you know, memory RAM in the computer is sort of like a, a stack of, uh, of memory addresses and there's, always, there's something called the stack pointer that, that points to sort of the top one and then um, the stack pointer moves up and down as, as memory is allocated and, and deallocated with uh, new allocations occurring up here, assuming that you write low memory addresses at the top. and um, so if you if you call a new function and the function allocates a bunch of uh, declares a bunch of new local variables the memory for that has to be allocated somewhere so it gets allocated up here and then you know the stack pointer goes up here because this is the new uh, top of the stack but then later when the function returns the stack pointer gets put back where it was and all this stuff is uh, essentially forgotten and might be overwritten by like you know other function calls that write other values there when other functions come along. Um, okay, so the point is is that memory that's allocated off the, the stack um, it it changes when you're not looking at it, whereas memory that's allocated off the heap you can be, you you're guaranteed that it it never changes. So let me give a concrete uh, example here. Um, so let's say that we have this uh, function foo and what foo does is it returns some uh, stack allocated memory. So that's just memory allocated as a local variable. So here's foo it takes no uh, it takes no parameters and what it does here is it declares some end pointer. You don't even have to do that. Let's do end b equals uh, 12 and let's make the, the zero with entry here equal to minus 1 and let's just return uh, b which is the address. It's the first, remember we've talked about these things about the array and stuff, so what b is going to return is just the address of the first entry in, in the array of integers, so the address of the first byte in that array. And you can make a equal to that, and then you can uh, print out the value of a0, which should be equal to minus 1. Okay, All right, so let's run it. And I get a warning. What's the warning? That there is no such thing as prog. It's because three errors got generated. What are those errors? Okay, I forgot to close my parens here. I'm getting kind of tired. I think I might also be getting sick. So now I've got another missing semicolon. I'm losing it. And now I've got a warning, but it's a sissy warning. Actually, the warning is talking about exactly what I'm trying to illustrate. Um, so here I, I set the zeroth entry to be negative one. I pass the address back. A catches the address, and now this is basically just dereferencing A and giving the value. And it's printing out minus one because minus one is what it was set equal to. And so it seems like this sort of works. Like if I did some more complicated stuff up here, like I could do, you know, instead of that, I could do b2 equals uh, a uh, b and then return it and let's print it out as a character hit the caps lock so it'll print out lowercase a right here's lowercase a and uh, but this is a bad idea so there's something called the dangling pointer pointer is pointing to memory on the stack instead of memory on the heap and later some other function is going to come along let's say foo and foo is going to allocate a bunch of 
uh, memory for local variables, and that's going to make the stack pointer go back up again. And um, so now I'm going to try to. I'm, what I'm doing is overwriting what, what was on the stack before by assigning values to all of these local variables. And it doesn't even matter. Let's just make it equal to 22.0, right? So what I just did is I just clobbered the stack. And now because I clobbered the stack, a0 is no longer going to be minus 1. It's going to be, I got an error, sorry, conflicting types for foo. I meant to call this bar. Also, we have to call bar. Okay, and it's it's some kind of non-printing character. If I put, let's say if I make this 2.718281828, what does that do? Okay, now I get a question mark character, so it's a printing at least that weird thing. But the point is that lowercase a, which is what was there, which is what you might expect a to still be pointing to, has been clobbered because this memory is on the stack. The stack got overwritten here, and now a is uh, pointing to a bunch of trash. So what can you do about that? What if you want the memory that's allocated to persist? Then you have to allocate it off the heap. And that means you have to use malloc. And uh, so you would do it like this. You could say int star b. Okay. And b is going to point to some memory that's allocated. And how many bytes do we want? Um, let's say that we want enough space for three integers. So each integer is four bytes. So to have enough bytes for three integers, you need four times three bytes. And the way you would normally write this is using size of. And that's because, you know, the fact that an integer is four bytes is not really written in stone. There, You could change that at some later date, and um, your code should be f sort of forward compatible in case they do that. But uh, probably pretty safe just to write 4. I'm sure lots of code has 4 written there. And what now? Uh, so we just do b uh, 0 equals a, uh, b1 equals uh, b, and b2 equals c, and we return b so that a can catch it down here. So A catches the the address that gets returned, which is, you know, B is a pointer, which is an address. And we print out the the first entry, which will still be lowercase a, even though the stack got clobbered when bar got called. We don't care because the memory that A points to now is heap memory, and that memory will forever be inviolate. Uh, and it still says lowercase a, just like I said. Okay, so that's an important difference between heap, the heap and the stack, and that's all. I, that's the only point I wanted to make.